Hey there, how y'all doing? Um, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel, which is new um, since I've actually started, I think this is like my sixth video ever, but my first one went off 10 years ago because I was the director of Classical Conversations, which is this homeschooling program and I did a history timeline and I don't even know if that's showing up on my feed. But anyways, this is my third video since really deciding to push for a YouTube channel, which I don't even think I've told my husband about. Um, and it is poor production quality, no planning, no editing, but it's all good. Anyways, things will get better here, and I think I do have some good advice and tips to pass off. If anything, I can be entertaining and provide some, um, you know, information about what I do and what works for me, and maybe it'll work for you, maybe it won't, but um, we'll have some fun in the, in the process, hopefully. But uh, today, since it is, what, my third video, and um, <laughs> since I've got a crazy day, um, we have six kids and number five today is getting his braces off, which is, this is a big deal to me because that means I'm getting closer to having all six in braces and all six out of braces. Uh, the 11 year old doesn't have them on yet, um, basically because of the cost. I mean, we could have paid for a four year fancy college for the uh, cost that we're paying for all these braces. It's ridiculous. I think it's, I think the most we paid for one of our kids was like 6,800 because she had issues, but anyways. I gotta drink my tea at the same time. So anyways, we're homeschooling and I've got one kid eating cereal, one kid getting ready. And I thought, you know what? If I've just gotta make these videos and I gotta try to keep them around eight minutes is where I'm shooting for, then um, I've gotta come up with ideas. And I have so many ideas, y'all. But one of the ways that I think I can do this well is, um, you know, just give ideas of stuff that I have bought and what works for me. And I'm just gonna show you what's working for me right now and where I am. Um, okay, so this thing, I got it from Amazon. I don't even know how to do the links and all that in the stuff, show notes, I'll figure it out in the future. But it is Dynamo and it says Letra Tag. And this thing is so awesome, y'all. I, I accidentally ordered three because I order off Amazon like all the time. Okay, so you don't believe me. The other ones, here's here's two right here. And then the other one's in the other room, still in its package because I'm gonna have a garage sale and I think I'm gonna get rid of it that way. And then today off Amazon, I bought more of these because the ones that I bought only come with one tape. Anyhow or who. I kind of went organizational crazy just to give you an idea. I had these kind of um, fancy deals on every one, but my handwriting didn't look the best and it doesn't look as clean. And so what I did, I'm gonna show you my pantry. And I've showed you my pantry in videos one and two, but I've gotten, it, I've kept working on them. So it's like a constant process. It doesn't stop when the camera goes off. I'm, I'm still working on this. So anyways, look at this. I got all of this lined up with beautiful labels on it and it makes it just so clean to find everything. Um, and so, yeah, hi, how you doing? Okay, so um, anyways, I just think that that's great. Trail mix, hunter mix, you see all the stuff that I got there. One of the things I even already realized after like the first or second video that I did was that I was bouncing my phone around all over the place. So I'm gonna try to be a little bit more smooth while I'm still working with uh, cheap production with my phone. And what do I have? I have an iPhone 11 is what I'm, I've got. I'm talking to H Hayden, uh, Hudson, do you wanna be on camera? Want to say hi to the people? Say hi. So far, I only have three views on one of my things, so I don't know if anybody will ever see this. But um, tell them what's so exciting about today. What, what's happening today? Hayden's getting his braces off. Yeah, but besides that, do you remember what else? No. So we're getting a freezer. Um, this is pretty exciting. Here, I'll show you this because this is really, it's a big day today. Hayden's getting his braces off. It's kind of rainy outside. But anyways, 
this is our backyard and it is a mess because we had that freeze this year. Just two years ago, I had this um, Facebook uh, post that I did and it had 40 pictures of beautiful flowers and we've always had this like a tropical paradise back here, but right now everything's not doing so good. I did get this flower yesterday at Cornelius and I love it. And what's the name of it? Oh, hold on. Um, here it's called a uh, purple mag maglia, I guess. It's supposed to be really heat tolerant and I just like the different colors. See, isn't that pretty? Anyways, okay, so um, Cornelius Nursery is one of my favorite. Okay, I'm taking you into the garage, which, okay, it's not gonna look like this forever, but this is interesting because we're having a garage sale, probably not this weekend, actually, the next weekend. And this is what our garage looks like now. Okay, so it is just a, just a, just a mess. There is everything from the pool table that didn't end up fitting in our house to bins of St. Patrick's Day stuff, the cute little guy. Um, we had some kind of um, creature in there. We've got furniture from the lady who lived in our house before we moved here. All kinds of furniture we don't want. That's after a surgery chair that I have to keep in case I have any more surgeries. I mean, it's just nuts. But we also have some storage kind of stuff because we have six kids and, and we, we need storage. We, we need our toilet paper if that ever happens again. Um, but just all kinds of stuff. And, and I'll just show you just so that in the future, this is gonna be beautiful. This is a three car garage. So there's the first two, uh, you know, door for the two. And then if you walk this way, my husband's tool bench, which he's got all kinds of crap. He's a pack rat and he just, he has so much stuff. He's trying to get more organized. I gotta give that to him. And that's why we came out here, just so I could show you something cool. Um, but I have rugs out here and um, all kinds of stuff. This is a chandelier from our old house. This is a kite that Mark and the boys were playing with. This is a table I wanna get refinished. I mean, it just goes on and on. It's just, it's a mess. And so we have got to, to clean this. You can see in the middle there, the organizational cart or whatever back there. Um, and there, back over there is a uh, book rack because we have like 20,000 books. Yeah, it's a whole story. But I mean, why do I have this teddy bear here? Seriously, it's so cute. It used to be on the cloth in, in uh, my house on the giant couch we had in my giant house. But anyways, let's go back to where we're out here for. So when the beginning of the pandemic happened, we had an inside fridge and an outside fridge. Some of y'all might go, that's a lot. But like I said, we have six kids and this outside fridge is an outside fridge freezer and it mainly holds drinks, as you can see. We have soft drinks, beers, milk, we have extra milks out here because we go through so much cereal and milk. And then we have our freezer section. And then we have, um, my, kid, my, my girls are old enough to drink now. At least two of my girls are. My third one isn't and she drinks too. So um, we have these little watermelon hibiscus alcohol drinks. Even in the freezer, we have drinks. I mean, you know what I mean. Um, slushies, whatever they are. But uh, beers, yeah. We live in Texas, so we have Buffalo Bayou 1836 beer. It's yummy. Anyways, okay, so that was what we had going on. But then I was worried, like, okay, what, what are we going to do if something happens with the economy, with COVID, we can't get into stores, somebody gets sick, whatever. Just to be on the safe side, we got this little freezer. It's a Thompson. I don't know where we got it, but it holds some of our food and I got vanilla bluebell ice cream yesterday and it's lovely and it's just a great place to put all the extra stuff the the pizzas um, I've mentioned this before but we love Belleville meat market and um, so when I go there I'll get extra stuff that a lot of the stuff in here actually is from Belleville meat market um, but then also so that I can get enough stuff I'll get like the big old thing of sausage can you see this it's like Jim, big giant. I'll get the big old Jimmy Jean thing. And one of my kids put that out here before I could cut it up. Usually I'd cut it up. But anyways, okay, so my husband came out here and you can't see it because he moved it. There was a workbench like this one right here. And this was on top of it. But he moved it because 
we're getting a freezer today delivered and it's going to go there. So then we'll have the inside freezer, the outside freezer, this freezer, and a full freezer that's going to go here that's pretty big. And why do we need so many freezers? Well, it takes me to what else is getting delivered today, which is, um, I'm walking all over the place. I gotta get that coffee. Um, <laughs> I gotta show you this too. Um, we're getting a Harvest Right, which is a freeze dryer, which is like the coolest thing ever because it takes like out all of your water. It's not a dehydrator. Everybody thinks a freeze dryer is a dehydrator. Oh, I've got one of those. No, you don't. Uh, unless you have a harvest right. Um, they started making them for the population in like 2013, I think. And um, they're really cool. And the one we got is pretty expensive, I would think, for an appliance, you know. Um, I think it was $5,100. Plus, we got extra trays, which was another $100, plus delivery tax, whatever. I don't know how much it was. I don't have that bill in front of me. But it was a lot because we got the large and it has five trays. And the, dependent upon the size of the harvest right you get depends on how deep these tray and big these trays are. And then, of course, how much you can put on the trays. And so, um, anyways, think of those like MREs um, that you would get, make ready meals, I think, you know, for like um, the army guys or whatever. Or um, think of like the astronaut ice cream. You can actually put ice cream in this harvest right. So it's supposed to, well, when I talked to them, they said it was going to be here on the 12th. Today's the 13th. They called me yesterday and said, can we deliver it today? But when she called, I was out of the house and I didn't, it's crazy. I write my calendar up on a whiteboard and the whiteboard was here and I couldn't remember everything. And so I was like, I have a bunch of stuff going on tomorrow, but I don't remember. Can you call me after three? Of course, the freight company did not call me after three. So I'm thinking it's coming today, but I'm not sure. Either way, when that happens, I'm totally going to post that. But I've been getting ready and getting stuff ready for when it comes. We're still trying to figure out where it's going to go because it needs a totally different volt. Um, and it has to be like a dedicated 20 amp circuit. I think that's what it is. Don't quote me on that. So anyhow or who, I'm going to move this so I can turn around and show you this. Hold on. Okay. So... I gotta get my kids in here to do the dishes so that we can take off and um, go to this um, dentist appointment to get these braces off. So, but I wanna show you this and I'm trying to take everything off of it real quick so that you can see it. This is a bread cart. And I am like super stoked. You're like, why do you need a bread cart? Well, we have an apocalypse room, as that's what we call it, upstairs. And that's what we're going to stick stuff in like um for the the harvest ride is going to go up there to the apocalypse room i think this is going to go up there some more storage carts we have all of our food up there um but basically these things come out so you can make it however deep you know you want it to put your stuff there or as thin as you need it and you can just put out. I mean, I could actually make bread and lay that out, but when I posted it on my Harvest Right freeze dry group with the guy I love, um, it's retired at 40 and he does YouTube videos that he's got the quality, he does the production value, he's got it all going on and he's figured it out and I love him. His name's Brian, I don't know, last name starts with a W, I don't know. Go check it out. It's retired at 40. And um, anyways, he does these videos that are so, so terrific because he'll do the harvest right. And let's say he wants to try candy. He'll try the candy and then he'll eat it and he'll reconstitute it. And it, they're just great videos. So am I hoping I can get there someday? Absolutely. Am I there now? now? No, but we're working towards it. So anyways, I posted on his group, um, Retired at 40, should I buy this? And everybody was like, absolutely, yes, you should buy it because you can make soaps and you can make, you know, freeze your stuff and put it in there. You can use it for storage. You can put all your supplies in it because you need, um, you need scissors and you need mylar bags and you need this and you need that. And so, um, anyhow, I got it. Um, I guess to a couple days ago, we got it on the weekend. We got it on Sunday. And with all the trays and everything, because I can wheel and deal and work a deal, um, I got it for a hundred bucks. 
and I'm thrilled too because it's on wheels so I can easily move it around but I just like the way it looked and I told my husband to leave it here in the kitchen and my kitchen's getting so nice um but uh, since it's so dark out but um but all the plants and stuff are here by the window and these are roses from outside I should take you out there before it rains just because I'm trying to get to the 20 minute mark and I got five minutes left and I don't even think I got to what I started to talk about, um, which was the little label maker. You saw how cool it was, but anyways, okay, just look over here real quick. Look at the, those roses. Isn't that amazing? Okay, I'm stepping. It obviously rained yesterday. Here's our garden, which I can get to some other day too. Um, but oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the size of these roses. I mean, this is my hand. So, I mean, they're, they're big old roses and they're so pretty. So anyways, um, they got really big. And so the good thing about that is he doesn't have to go out and buy me roses. He can just cut them and bring them in to me. And so, um, that's, that's our plan now. I think I want to plant, um, some more rose bushes too in the front. But right here, we've got our trees that are getting ready to go, probably out front. But we have, what do we have right here? And then we'll go back in. We have a red grapefruit, and it's, it smells, it's been smelling so good with the little beet buds and everything. And then we have a mandarin, and this is a variegated Eureka lemon. And oh my gosh, y'all, look at the leaves of this thing. It's so pretty. Just love this. And then... What is this one? This one's the red navel orange. Um, so, and we have a bunch of other plants. And there's our um, fire pit, which I'll do a whole tour of the backyard sometime. But everything's kind of a mess right now. It's just not, oh, here's our, we got new blackberries. And we have raspberries and blueberries and all kinds of stuff. Because we're just trying to be more self-sufficient. Okay, kitty, go. This is Ellie. Ellie, say hi. Ellie, come on. Yeah, she always, we open the door for them, even though they have a cat dog door. Anyways, okay, so let me just tell you about this real quick, this whole Dynamo thing at Label Maker, and then I'm gonna take off so that we can get the dishes done and get going on the day um, and get going. All right, so um, which one has the batteries in it? Okay, so this one has the batteries in it, and I just love it. I, it says bananas because I just made one for the bananas. And all you do to clear it is punch clear and okay. And so the neat thing about it is I'm just going to write something so you can see. Hold on. We're going to do C, A, and T. And all I want to do is print it. It's printing. It's coming out the side. And then I snap it to cut it. And there it is. Perfect. And then the other thing that's kind of cool that they don't tell you all this when you're looking up all these different choices is it folds right down the middle and then it peels, the tape peels super, super easy and it's really strong. I can't do it while holding the phone, but you can see maybe that on the back. So it just perforates right down the middle. I don't know if you can see that. And the, the tape peels off one way and then the other way, and then it's done. And so it's just great. And then also these things just fit in here unbelievably easily. You just pull it out and pop it in. And that is as easy as it is. So I'm going to give like two thumbs up for this big time. And I cannot remember the cost of it. I'm going to go with, I guess it's around 22, 23 bucks, something like that. Dynamo, like it. This is a roundabout um, review of that because I get to talking and I'm showing you other things. And um, one of the YouTube video guys said, you know, to see if you can make it between eight and 20 minutes, just so you can get the practice of doing these videos. And he said, nobody's going to even look at the first 50 to 150. So you might as well try. And I was like, I got this. I got this. I can do this. So anyways, we are at the 19 minute mark and I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing about my crazy day and you're excited about seeing my freezer and my harvest right and seeing my garden and my roses and also learning about my new label maker. And uh, who knows what it'll be next time. 
All right, have a good day, y'all. Take care and try to sign up. If you're looking at this video, and even if I only have four or five people look at it, if you subscribe, if you come back and you look, um, that's gonna be better for this channel. And I promise you, as it gets better in my subscriptions and people watching it, then I will get better at production value and putting things up and putting makeup on and stuff like that. Um, I don't have hardly, I, I look at the bags under these eyes today. But you work with me, I'll work with you. Thanks, and you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.